Hello, I'm Terry and today I'll be calculating dilution and I'm going to be using the tre treasury stock method for the warrants and the options and for the restricted stock units I'm going to use as is. I'm not going to calculate anything. I'm just going to move it over and have that as a part of dilution here. And let's get started with the dilution formula. To calculate dilution, I need the number of shares that would be issued minus the shares issued times the exercise price divided by the current share price. In a nutshell, that's the formula for, the, for dilution. But we need to use an if formula here because maybe there is no dilution because the exercise price is above the current share price so it's a conditional type of deal here so we're going to say equals if I'm going to use open up our parentheses here And if the exercise price is more than this current share price, then I'm going to hit zero. Nothing happens. But if the opposite occurs, when the share price is above the exercise price, that's when we calculate for dilution. The shares issued minus the shares issued times the exercise price divided by the stock price and the whole idea behind this formula is that the company issue shares that's connected to the warrants in this situation but the money that they raise by issuing those shares they use to purchase back some of the shares and what's left over is the dilution so right here we have this amount for dilution and I'm just going to copy this formula down just going to hit copy here and copy the formula down here you see here I have dilution in a trunch one and trunch two, I don't have dilution, and that's simply because the share price is greater than the exercise price here, so we have dilution. And here, trunch two, the exercise price is more than the current share price, that's why we don't calculate it, it'll stop it to zero and there's no dilution and there's a total here for the warrants I have trunch one and two I'm just going to copy this same formula down to the options because we're going to use the treasury stock method there also so I'm going to copy this put it here copy the formula down and as you can see have a total, I had a total earlier. We have dilution here also because the exercise price is less than the current share price. And right here for the restricted stock units, it's an as is basis. So take that amount and have it there. And the convertible bonds, there aren't any. right here I'm assuming everything are in millions so it's rather high right there so I'm gonna put decimal here okay and now that we have all of our dilution we can calculate our diluted shares outstanding 
And first, we need the basic shares outstanding here. Then we need to add all of the dilution from over here. As you can see, it's rather low compared to the amount of shares we have now, but that's okay. All right, what we're gonna do now is calculate the basic equity value. And that is the current share price times the basic shares outstanding. Put that in uh, that form here, the accounting form. And now we need the diluted equity value. Pretty much the same concept. We're just using the diluted shares outstanding come out there. value here and our basic equity value here and because we did have dilution these will differ and that's pretty much it for the calculating dilution video and thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned